In this lesson, we're going to look at an interesting way of creating drum patterns that's maybe a little bit different from what we're used to. So I've got a drum rack here with some example sounds. I'm going to use an arpeggiator. As usual, in this course, I'm demonstrating in Ableton Live, but any DAW will have this in it. You also can find some rather fancy and interesting third-party versions of a MIDI effect like this. But essentially, we're going to be using this device, which will either repeat the one note that is held down to the speed that I set with the rate knob, or it will cycle between the different notes I hold down if I hold down more than one. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is create a new MIDI clip. In fact, let's do this in the timeline here, just because many people are more used to this. And in this MIDI clip, I'm going to draw one long note. Cool. So when I press play, I have a continuing 16th note repetition of this kick drum. Let's go back into the MIDI clip and make one note for each of the cells of my drum sampler. Already we've got something I probably wouldn't have thought of doing it a different way. So what else could we do here? Uh, in Live's arpeggiator, we have a few options. The offset might change which note this pattern starts on. Cool. We also have different styles or patterns. We have up, which is what we had already. Let's try down up, see what that sounds like. And let's try pinky up. So here this note is being repeated, much like an arpeggio that repeats the, uh, the little finger note, the highest note. Other things we have that could be quite fun is a random other. So this will play any other note than the one currently playing. Problem with that is it gets a bit chaotic. Maybe that's what you like. I'm going to go back and set this to up down. and marvel at my wonderful pattern. Now I might want to do a few things with this. Most DAWs also have a MIDI random function, whether as a device like this or something inside our clip editing. I can automate this chance or even just turn it off and on to have a sense of cooling response with the pattern that I've created. and just some kind of random chaos. Let's turn this on every second bar and hear what happens. Lovely. So another thing we might also do is take other MIDI effects. This begins to get a bit more dependent on which DAW you're using. I'm going to take the scale effect. Lots of DAWs have that and just kind of press things randomly. And this should change my pattern up. So I'm going to turn this on every other bar and maybe I'll get rid of actually the random for now. Excellent. 
So from here, we might think about the actual instrument we use. I won't play around too much today. But uh, if I just put a synthesizer, we could also dream of a world where we're creating patterns that are melodic. We might also take a drum loop and put it inside a sampler. I'll take the Amen break, slice that up. And of course, we could play around with the arpeggio while we're doing that. Great, I'll leave it there for today. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson.